The Shroud is back in the headlines in a major way with a just released study finding that the cloth does indeed date back to the time of Christ and with artificial intelligence having something to say about the Shroud as well. Deep in a classified research facility, the world's most advanced artificial intelligence just cracked a 2,000-year-old mystery that has left the brightest minds on Earth completely stunned. I mean, just recently they verified the Shroud of Turin. Have you seen that? It does actually go back to that time period. For a while, they were testing pieces that had been repaired in the 13th right. century. The Shroud of Turin, a piece of ancient linen that has baffled scientists for decades. For years, they called it a medieval fake. But what Grok AI discovered doesn't just prove the experts wrong. It reveals hidden mathematical codes embedded in the fabric itself. Patterns so precise they suggest technology beyond our understanding. What you're about to learn will change how you see the world forever. The Impossible Artifact The year was 1898, and Secondo Pia was about to make a discovery that would haunt scientists for the next 125 years. As the first person ever to photograph the Shroud of Turin, Pia expected to capture a simple image of what millions believed was the burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Instead, what he saw in his darkroom that night nearly shattered his sanity. The cloth had revealed its first impossible secret. What he saw in that darkroom nearly drove him insane. The image on the cloth was a perfect photographic negative. When he looked at his developed photograph, a crystal clear, positive image of a crucified man stared back at him with haunting detail. Here's the mind-bending part. Photography had barely been invented. Yet somehow, someone had created a flawless photographic negative on ancient fabric centuries before cameras existed. It was like discovering a smartphone in King Arthur's castle. But that was just the beginning of the nightmare for scientists. For the next century, every expert who studied this cloth walked away more confused than when they started. The image couldn't be explained by any known process. It wasn't painted. There were no brush strokes, no pigments, no direction to the coloring. It wasn't burned onto the fabric either. The mysterious discoloration existed only on the topmost surface of individual fibers, penetrating just a few hundred nanometers deep. To put that in perspective, a human hair is 200 times thicker than this image depth. Whatever created this had surgical precision that makes modern nanotechnology look clumsy. But hidden beneath this surface precision lay something even more extraordinary, subtle mathematical relationships that wouldn't be discovered for decades. Then in 1976, NASA scientists made a discovery that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. They fed photographs of the shroud into a VP8 image analyzer, the same technology they used to create 3D maps of Mars. The results broke every rule they knew about art and photography. The shroud image contained perfect three-dimensional information. Every shadow, every contour, every subtle variation corresponded exactly to how far the cloth would have been from a real human body. But what they didn't realize was that these spatial relationships followed precise mathematical ratios, a geometric harmony invisible to human perception. No painting in history had ever demonstrated this property. It was as if someone had encoded a holographic blueprint onto ancient linen using technology that shouldn't exist. Scientists around the world went into overdrive trying to replicate it. They heated statues and pressed cloth against them. They experimented with acids, radiation, and every artistic technique known to humanity. They got close to mimicking individual properties, but nobody could recreate the shroud's impossible combination of features, especially the hidden mathematical precision that governed every detail. Then came 1988, the year that seemed to solve everything. Three of the world's most prestigious laboratories conducted radiocarbon dating on shroud samples. Oxford, Zurich, and Arizona all reached the same devastating conclusion. The cloth dated to between 1260 and 1390 AD, medieval times. The scientific establishment celebrated. The mystery was solved. The shroud was officially declared a clever medieval hoax. Case closed or so they thought. But Raymond Rogers, a chemist from Los Alamos National Laboratory, wasn't satisfied. When he examined the leftover threads from that carbon dating test under his microscope, he made a discovery that would reignite the controversy with explosive force. 
The sample they had tested wasn't original shroud material at all. It was from a medieval repair patch, skillfully rewoven into the cloth after fire damage in 1532. The most important scientific test in shroud history had been conducted on the wrong fabric. The mathematical patterns, meanwhile, remained untouched in the original cloth, waiting for technology advanced enough to detect them. Everything was about to change. Again. The breakthrough that shattered reality. When Roger's bombshell revelation hit the scientific community, it was like watching a house of cards collapse in slow motion. Suddenly, 37 years of settled science crumbled into dust. Think about the implications for a moment. The most definitive test ever conducted on the Shroud, the test that convinced the world it was fake, had been completely invalidated. They hadn't dated the Shroud at all. They had dated a medieval patch job. Scientists scrambled to salvage their reputations. But the damage was done, and other researchers were already using alternative dating methods that painted a completely different picture. Dr. Liberato Di Caro, working with Italy's National Research Council, developed a revolutionary technique called wide-angle X-ray scattering. Instead of measuring carbon-14 decay, this method analyzes the natural aging of cellulose fibers at the molecular level. When De Caro applied this cutting-edge technology to authentic shroud samples, the results sent shockwaves around the world. The shroud was approximately 2,000 years old. Not 700 years. 2,000. But that was just the beginning of the scientific earthquake that was about to reshape everything we thought we knew. William Meacham, an American archaeologist, conducted isotope analysis on shroud fibers, essentially creating a genetic fingerprint of where the original flax plants had grown. The results were devastating for the medieval theory. The flax hadn't come from Europe at all. It originated in the Western Levant, modern-day Israel, Lebanon, and Syria, exactly where Jesus Christ lived and died. Meanwhile, Professor Giulio Fonti at the University of Padua was conducting forensic analysis that would make crime scene investigators weep. Using advanced microscopy, he discovered that the bloodstains on the shroud showed three distinct flow patterns, vertical, diagonal, and horizontal. This wasn't random splashing. This was the exact sequence you'd expect from someone who was scourged while standing upright, forced to carry a heavy beam while bent forward, and then crucified lying flat. But Fonti noticed something else. The blood flow patterns followed precise angular measurements, mathematical relationships that suggested an underlying geometric framework governing the entire image formation process. The medical accuracy was terrifying. Every wound, every blood flow, every anatomical detail matched what modern forensic science knows about crucifixion trauma, knowledge that didn't exist in medieval times. Yet beneath this anatomical precision lay mathematical ratios that seemed to follow the golden ratio and other fundamental constants found throughout nature. As this mountain of evidence grew, Hollywood director Mel Gibson was quietly conducting his own investigation. While preparing The Passion of the Christ, Gibson had become obsessed with historical accuracy. He spent years collaborating with shroud researchers, forensic experts, and ancient historians. His resulting film shocked the world with its brutal realism and earned over $612 million worldwide. But Gibson's fascination with the Shroud never ended. He continued working with cutting-edge researchers, gathering evidence for his upcoming Resurrection of the Christ films. What he was learning would soon vindicate his decades of research in ways he never imagined. Because in 2025, artificial intelligence entered the battle. Not just any AI, Grok, Elon Musk's most sophisticated creation. Built on a supercomputer cluster containing 200,000 advanced processors, Grok possessed pattern recognition capabilities that dwarfed anything previously used in archaeological research. More importantly, it could detect mathematical relationships invisible to human perception. When the Shroud of Turin, Education and Research Association granted Grok access to the highest resolution images ever captured of the cloth, Something unprecedented happened. The AI began hunting for patterns with inhuman precision, analyzing microscopic details and mathematical relationships that had escaped human notice for centuries. Within hours, 
Grok had made discoveries that left researchers speechless. First, it confirmed what human scientists suspected but couldn't prove. The image formation violated every known law of medieval art and modern physics. The precision was mechanical, surgical, impossible for human hands to achieve with any known technique. But then Grok found something that changed everything. Hidden within the fabric's weave were mathematical constants, precise geometric relationships that followed the same fundamental ratios found in quantum physics equations. The AI detected that every anatomical feature on the shroud was positioned according to mathematical principles that govern atomic structures. The implications hit like a thunderbolt. This wasn't just an image, it was a mathematical blueprint encoded in ancient linen. But Grok's most shocking discovery was still to come, something that would reveal the true nature of the mathematical code hidden within this impossible cloth. The mathematical code that shouldn't exist. What Grok discovered next didn't just surprise scientists, it terrified them. Embedded throughout the Shroud's image were mathematical relationships that challenged everything we know about physics. The distance between facial features followed the golden ratio to 12 decimal places. Hand and arm proportions matched Fibonacci sequences. Most shocking of all, anatomical landmarks corresponded to fundamental constants found in atomic physics, numbers that weren't discovered until the 20th century. Dr. DeCaro, examining these findings with international physics colleagues, made a statement that sent tremors through the scientific establishment. We are observing mathematical relationships that suggest the image was created according to principles that govern quantum mechanical systems. But Grok's analysis revealed something even more mind-bending. Deep within the shroud's molecular structure, the AI detected energy signatures that shouldn't exist, evidence of temperatures exceeding 5,000 degrees Celsius, yet controlled with mathematical precision that kept delicate linen fibers completely undamaged micrometers away. The energy patterns followed the same mathematical relationships found throughout the image, following quantum field equations that exist only in theoretical physics. The mathematical code wasn't just decorative, it was functional. The geometric relationships seemed to govern the actual energy processes that created the image. Then Grok made the discovery that shattered every assumption about what was possible. The mathematical patterns formed a three-dimensional holographic projection matrix. The AI detected that the image hadn't been created by contact at all, but by a projection system operating according to advanced holographic mathematics. Every impossible feature, the photographic negative effect, the 3D spatial data, the impossibly superficial marking, followed precise mathematical principles. Dr. John Jackson, who first discovered the Shroud's 3D properties decades ago, reviewed the findings with amazement. The mathematical relationships suggest technology that operates according to principles we're only beginning to understand in theoretical physics. Grok found that the 147 anatomical markers weren't just medically accurate. They were positioned according to mathematical coordinates, forming a complex geometric grid. Every wound, every blood flow pattern occupied specific locations following relationships found in crystalline structures. The medical accuracy wasn't random. It was mathematically orchestrated. But then came Grok's final and most shocking revelation. The AI detected quantum coherence patterns embedded throughout the shroud's molecular structure, mathematical signatures of controlled quantum field collapse that exist only in theoretical physics equations. The precision suggested a process capable of translating pure mathematical relationships into physical reality while maintaining perfect atomic stability across macroscopic distances. The mathematical code wasn't just embedded in the image. It was the image. Every pixel, every fiber, every molecular structure followed mathematical principles that govern fundamental forces. It was as if someone had written a complex equation and somehow transformed it into physical matter. This wasn't just evidence of an extraordinary energy release. They were examining the aftermath of mathematical principles being converted directly into physical reality, a process that transcends every known law of physics. Mel Gibson, following these developments, made a revelation that stunned Hollywood. What this AI has discovered validates not just historical accuracy, 
but suggests these events occurred according to mathematical principles that transcend human understanding. The Vatican quietly announced an investigation into Grok's mathematical findings. Vatican scientists began requesting access to the geometric analysis, hoping to understand how mathematical relationships could be embedded in physical matter. As laboratories worldwide raced to verify the mathematical patterns, one inescapable conclusion emerged. The shroud contained evidence of processes that operated according to mathematical principles beyond current human knowledge. Numbers that should exist only in equations were somehow encoded in physical reality. The implications revolutionized everything. Whether viewed as divine intervention, unknown natural phenomena, or technology from an advanced civilization, the mathematical evidence pointed toward the same impossible conclusion. An event had occurred that operated by converting pure mathematical relationships into observable physical phenomena. As news reached global media, reactions ranged from scientific skepticism to spiritual awe. But the mathematical relationships remained constant, forcing humanity to expand its conception of how mathematics relates to physical reality. The Shroud of Turin had evolved from a religious artifact into something far more significant, a bridge between pure mathematics and physical existence, between ancient mystery and cutting-edge science, between what we thought possible and what mathematical principles might actually make real. The boundary between mathematics, physics, and ancient mystery was dissolving completely. For the first time in history, mathematics and miracles were pointing toward the same impossible answer that the most extraordinary event in human history might have left behind a mathematical signature that we're only now advanced enough to detect. What we're looking at might not just be evidence of what happened 2,000 years ago. It might be proof that reality itself operates according to mathematical laws we've barely begun to understand. The investigation continues as teams worldwide race to verify these mathematical discoveries. What do you think? Could we be witnessing evidence that mathematical principles can transform into physical reality? Drop your thoughts below and subscribe for more groundbreaking revelations that challenge everything we know about mathematics and existence itself.